How's it going, Pokemon trainers? Another year of Pokemon Go Fashion Week is coming right up. And as expected, we're getting several Pokemon who are going to have brand new costumes, as well as one brand new Pokemon coming to the game. So let's go over these details. So hello again to anyone who's been here before and anyone who's new, hello, thanks for being here and for watching. If you're interested in Pokemon Go news, updates, events, sometimes recaps, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you do, I really appreciate it. It's helping this channel grow and again, thanks for being here. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this new blog entry that's talking about the upcoming fashion week in Pokemon Go. So first up, this event is going to start on Tuesday, September 21st at 10 a.m. and last through Tuesday, September 28th at 8 p.m. local time. Now for anyone who has done a Pokemon Go fashion week before, like we said earlier, what we're gonna see is Pokemon with some brand new costumes to celebrate the event. And we get new avatar items, and it looks like specifically for this event, there's going to be some kind of sale on avatar items in the shop. So for any of you out there who have been eyeing some of the avatar items and wondering why you would ever spend $5 on a virtual outfit, now you might only have to spend $2.50. We're gonna go through this and figure out the exact details. So first up, we're getting a new Pokemon to the game, and that's going to be Furfro. So Furfro is a poodle Pokemon. They're very fashionable. It makes sense that this beautiful Pokemon is going to be the brand new Pokemon for Fashion Week. And for those of you who are familiar with this Pokemon, it has several different forms. So essentially what's going to happen are these different forms are going to be appearing in different regions throughout the world. And we're also going to be seeing a new form changing option for this Pokemon in the game. So first let's talk about where the different forms are going to be around the world and then we'll get into how to do this form change for this Pokemon. So first up, its natural form is going to be available in the wild globally. And then we're going to get both the Matron Trim and the Dandy Trim, which are going to be available globally as a form change. Next up, the Debutante Trim is going to be also available as a form change, but only in the Americas. And then the Diamond Trim will be available as a form change in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Star Trim is going to be available as a form change in the Asia Pacific region. La Ren Trim, I do not speak French, sorry for butchering this word. The La Ren Trim will be available as a form change in in France. You guessed that. That makes sense. Then we're going to see the Kabuki trim available as a form change in Japan and finally a Pharaoh trim available as a form change in Egypt. Now there's one last form called the heart trim which we yet to have details for. So this says stay tuned. So we're probably going to get more information when that event starts is my assumption uh, or possibly way later after the event but the heart trim is yet to be announced. Next up for this event we're also going to see some spawn pool shakeups and we're going to be getting Pokemon in their new fashion costumes. So you can expect to see Pokemon like Butterfree, Sneasel, and Blitzel wearing fashionable costumes for the first time in the game. So in previous years we've seen several of these same Pokemon like the original Kanto starters kind of shuffle through with different costumes. Pikachu as you know has I don't know a million costumes at this point uh, but these three Pokemon have yet to ever have a costume in the game so brand new costume Pokemon. If you participated in last year's fashion week there were several different Pokemon that were costumed that year as well and it looks like those are going to be making a return. So if you remember Smoochum, I think Smoochum had a cute little bow tie, so that's returning. Um, I'm still looking for that bow tie Smoochum. Shiny, so maybe there'll be some luck there this year, as well as Kirlia, Shinx, and Croagunk. I believe these were all wearing a top hat. Now I did last year get a shiny top hat Croagunk. Super excited about that. There it is. I'm this is one of my favorite shiny Pokemon, so this exclusivity with the top hat is amazing. Good luck to all of you getting shiny costumed Pokemon. Okay, and then next up, as you know, we are currently in the season of mischief. This season started September 1st. If you need more information on this entire season, you can go ahead and click the link that's right up at the top or down in the description for the full details for that season. If you have been playing, you know that there is some ongoing special research tied to the Pokemon Hoopa, which is being released in a staggered way throughout this season. So if you've completed the current portion in the game. You're currently paused while Professor Willow is doing some additional research. So once this fashion week starts, it looks like that next page of that research is going to open up. So for that, we're going to have to help Professor Willow study up on how Pokemon like Furfro and others might surprise you by changing their appearances. So it looks like now part of that research that's going to open up is going to be the research we're going to need to use to learn how to do form changing mechanics to these Pokemon, particularly Furfro here 
in this event. Next up, for anyone who was not a ticket holder to Pokemon Go Fest 2021, which just took place back in July, this means that you were not able to get the exclusive Pokemon for that event, which was the mythical Pokemon Meloetta. So good news for you, this event is going to give you that opportunity to get Meloetta for free by participating in this event. Now, if you were a ticket holder for Pokemon Go Fest, you're not gonna get another Meloetta, but rather you're going to get an opportunity to get several Meloetta candies so you can power that thing up. Mine was only like two stars, so I don't even care. But if you got a really good Meloetta, this is gonna be a great opportunity for you to get some extra candy to put towards that Pokemon. So that special research should hopefully unlock as soon as this event goes live on the 21st. We're then going to also see fashionable trainers popping up at Poke stops around the world, and then we will have the opportunity to battle those fashionable trainers. Next up, there's going to be some timed research. This is going to be separate than the Meloetta research. So the Meloetta research that we already talked about is not going to be timed. So that is going to stay in your special research and you can complete that at any time. I do recommend trying to complete it during this event because a lot of the tasks that are in there are most likely going to be related to the Pokemon that are spawning during this event. Now for the timed research, this one is going to be one that will go away at the end of the event. So this is when you're gonna to need to finish from September 1st to September 28th. And this research is going to reward you with encounters with fashionable event themed Pokemon as well as an exclusive fur fro, as well as an exclusive fur fro wig avatar item as the final reward. This wig will also be available for purchase in the shop. So if you happen to not finish this research, it will still be available for you, except you're gonna have to pay money for it. And that's gonna hit the shop on September 29th at 1 p.m. Pacific time once the event is finally over. And then starting on Monday, September 20th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, that is when we're going to start seeing fashion week items hit the shop. This includes Hoopa bangles. And then like we mentioned earlier, starting on that date, I believe, it doesn't specify here when this starts, but I assume it's also going to be September 20th, certain avatar items will be on sale for a limited time. Now I'm going to go ahead and recommend that Gengar onesie, spooky season is just around the corner. So if you're someone who wants to get in the super spooky spirit, hopefully those onesies will be on sale. Next up, let's talk about Pokemon encounters. This bullet point makes no sense to me because we've already covered all of this, but in addition to Furfro, costume Pokemon like Kirlia, Blitz, Krogunk will be appearing in the wild. And if you're lucky, you might also encounter a Butterfree. So it looks like Butterfree is going to be the rare spawn in this pool of Pokemon, which makes sense because it is a final evolution Pokemon, which are rare in the game regardless. And then we're going to see the costumes Sneasel and Shinx appearing in one star raids. So these are gonna be kind of behind a paywall if you wanna go after those costumed Pokemon. Sneasel's new, Shinx is old. Then we're also going to see costumed Butterfree and Kirlia in three star raids. Now as for five star raids and mega raids. Those Pokemon are not going to be different for this event. So we already know what those Pokemon are going to be. Again, if you don't have that information, another link will be up here for you to review the details for everything happening in Pokemon Go during the month of September, which will include those raid bosses. Next up, some brand new egg pools for this event. So first up in seven kilometer eggs, we're going to see a little change up. You can expect to find Alolan Meowth, Galarian Meowth, and Smoochum in fashionable costume. And it also looks like Shinx in a fashionable costume. And then finally, this is confirmed, not that it was up really up for question, but all of these costume Pokemon will be available in their shiny form as long as the shiny has already been released into the game. So this includes shiny Butterfree, shiny Sneasel, shiny Smoochum, shiny Kirlia, shiny Shinx, shiny Croagunk, or shiny Blitzel. Shiny Blitzel? Okay, is shiny Blitzel already in Pokemon Go? It's not, right? So we're getting a brand new shiny. Look how slyly they snuck this in here. Okay, you may encounter shiny Blitzel without a costume after Fashion Week has concluded, but you won't see Blitzel in the wild very often. Thank you, Niantic. I think we all know. Blitzel's pretty rare. Okay, so it looks like we're getting a brand new shiny snuck right in here in one of these bullets towards the very end. Shiny Blitzel coming to Pokemon Go during the event with a costume, and then its shiny will be available without a costume in the game after this event is all over. Cool, what a surprise. This is why I don't read the blogs before I start filming, because you never know what you're gonna find in here. Okay, gang, now let's get to this new form change mechanic that's being added to the game. We talked about this in the beginning. Now let's really go over what this means for Pokemon Go and for Pokemon like Furfro that actually have form changes. Now, as you know, we have a lot of other Pokemon in the game that are also able to change their forms. A lot of these are legendaries. So it's gonna be interesting to see if we're gonna be able to use this mechanic on those Pokemon. I don't think so, but let's see. Okay, so we're gonna cover these details specifically for Furfro. Now you're going to get Furfro or in its, in its natural trim is what this Pokemon will be normally. So what you're gonna wanna do is select 
Furfru in your Pokemon storage and then tap the form change button. So this is what it's going to look like in Pokemon Go. So pretty much in the same place that you normally would see an evolution button, we're going to get a change form button. And this example specifically here shows that it costs 10,000 Stardust to change a form, as well as for Frofro, it looks like it's 25 candies. I assume this will probably be different in the future for other Pokemon if this new mechanic does apply to some other Pokemon that can change forms in the game. So 10,000 Stardust, 25 candy, not too bad on the candy, but the Stardust, that's, that's relatively high. So once you click on that change form button, you're going to be able to select which trim you would like on your Pokemon. So like we discussed earlier, different trims are going to be available in different regions. Nothing has been said in this blog as to if there's any possible way to get these other trims. I'm assuming that this is probably going to require traveling once again in Pokemon Go if you do want to get a new trim registered to your Pokedex or however this, this form change is going to work in the Pokedex. And then of course, Course it's going to give you the are you sure pop up to make sure you actually want to spend this money to change form of your Pokemon. And then it looks like it's going to get a screen animation that's pretty similar to an evolution animation. And then the final stage will be your transformed Pokemon. So now something I would like to know is how long is this form going to last? So this blog does not specify if this is going to be a permanent change or essentially permanent until you change it to a different form. So it looks like this isn't going to work the way Mega evolution does where you only get a specific amount of time that that Pokemon is going to stay mega evolved. It looks like once you spend the candy and Stardust to transform this Pokemon, it's going to stay in whatever form you transfer it to until you pay to transfer it again. So I'm assuming that because this final Furfro trim that we changed to in this example also has that change form button down there at the bottom. That makes me believe that you will be able to change the form. You just have to pay again. So there's a lot of details left out of this explanation for this new mechanic. Um, specifically how the regions are going to work. So I have not looked into this yet. Um, I apologize if this information is already out there. If I do find further information about it, I might make another video because I wonder if these trims are going to be specific to the fur fro you catch where you catch it. So again, I think we still need several details on how this mechanic is going to work if they're not already released. If they're not already released, I assume that as soon as this event goes live, everyone will be able to figure out exactly how this mechanic is going to work. Okay, so that is going to do it for Pokemon Go's Fashion Week 2021. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty exciting event. We're getting those new costumed Pokemon. Furfru is coming to the game, and then we're getting a sneaky, shiny Blitzel making its Pokemon Go debut, first as a costume, then as normal Blitzel. So yeah, it seems like it's going to be a pretty fun event to kind of close out the month of September in Pokemon Go, and then we're gonna go straight into spooky season, the best season in Pokemon Go and the world. So if you enjoyed this video and you want the information that's going to come really soon for spooky season in Pokemon Go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like or a comment letting me know. And if you already found information, more details on how these new change form mechanics are going to work, feel free to drop those in the comments as well. Otherwise, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all really soon in the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.